My name is Aaron Kerman. I am one of the top real estate agents in the country. I've sold over $3.5 billion worth of the most expensive homes across the globe. Welcome to LVC, which is considered the finest Malibu estate in really the world. You have the most incredible view of the Pacific Ocean. You literally have four houses, the main house, two guest structures, and this incredible pool house. So it's like a fine piece of art. And for the person that's looking to spend this much money, it really is the true trophy. My day is really busy. It starts super early and ends super late. Most of what I do is meet with sellers and figure out how to get the most expensive houses in the world sold. So what's your final number? What I do try to do every day consistently is meditate, take some time for myself to figure out what I need to do and where I want to be, and then focus on getting that objective. I was on a flight with a billionaire and he was on Instagram. And I thought to myself, wow, I need to be on Instagram if this guy's on Instagram. So we very quickly set ourselves up on Instagram. We now have over 350,000 followers on Instagram, kings and queens to celebrities on our Instagram. And they hit me up after I post something and said, I need to get into that house. It really is one of the most effective ways of selling home today, not just Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, WeChat, all of them. Growing up, I had severe disabilities, learning disabilities. Uh, I had a horrible speech impediment, so I couldn't even say my own name. It was really, really challenging for me. I always knew what I was supposed to do, which was real estate, because I had a passion for selling houses, and I knew that my disabilities wouldn't get in the way of doing that. And so I really focused on what I knew I would be good at. What I wasn't good at was reading, but what I was good at was listening to people. I was able to take that and make a multi-billion dollar business with it. A lot of my success, like a credit to not only having those disabilities, but knowing how to offset them. So I always tell people that even if you have challenges or things or obstacles that are in your way, own it, know what they are, and figure out a way around it because that's how you'll be the most successful.